It's not uncommon when we're starting with GIS to be a little confused about the format of shapefiles. Shapefiles are generally four to six files uh, that when they're combined actually represent one of our layers in ArcMap. Now in some tutorials it'll reference a particular shapefile and ask you to add that and begin working with it. Um, whenever it does that we just need to remember that we can't actually do anything with the file yet from within say Windows Explorer. For example if I'm looking at the NCI folder within the GIS tutorial folder my shapefile is actually represented by these one, two, three, four files combined. Even though one of them has an extension that says .shp, I can't use it alone. Therefore, if the tutorial prompted me to add this file, what I have to do is first open ArcMap, starting with a blank document, then go up to my Add Data button, click on it, and browsing to the correct folder, select my shapefile here. So now instead of seeing four, possibly five, six different files, I'm only seeing one. And that looks better. So selecting the file, I can now click Add, and my map draws. Now if you prefer, another common way to add data to ArcMap is through Arc Catalog. Because remember that Arc Catalog is sort of like our Windows Explorer for GIS files. And it becomes really handy because, again, instead of seeing the four to six files broken down, now we're just seeing the shape files identified in the folders. But overall look looks similar to Windows Explorer. So from the left, if I highlight, say, another layer, I can actually drag it directly onto ArcMap and have it draw it that way. So either option is perfectly fine for getting data onto your map. Uh, both have their advantages. It's at some point become simply a personal preference. So I hope that helps. Certainly feel free to email me if you have any questions.